It's yeah. not too sweet. It's got that mixture of like, it's not too gingery. <laughs> yeah, the lemon really cut. Lime, 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 pure lime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you dance in nineteen eighty? Yeah. Okay, cool. Don't you remember that song? Not really. No. Can you hear it? Alright. Do my intro. Play a tune and get up and dance. <laughs> Yeah, man. If you didn't know, this is Love the Beat Radio. <laughs> Not yet. Make sure you follow on www.lovethebeatradio.co.uk. It's not on yet, Bishop. No, no, but this is for the Instagram. Oh, right. Okay, you know cool. I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. If you've got any questions, you want any anything answered from us, www.lovethebeatradio.co.uk. And the phone number is 07308 895 Six six eight. I'll be repeating that a couple times throughout the interview. Good. Make sure you phone in, ask dilemmas, questions, get involved in a convo. Yeah, man, we're here to interact. Shout out everyone on um, Instagram watching right now. I'm just here drinking my mum's homemade lemon ginger juice. That's right, ginger beer. Mm. Oh, he's here. Awesome. All right, yeah. and the first guest is here. That's a good time. <laughs> Wait, it's the buzz. Really buzz me, Shaq, just um, buzzing for me. God, it's good time. Man. You have to buzz it, don't you? Yeah, buzz. Come in. It's come all the way up. Uh, right. Careful, the door's going to be locked. Uh, come in. How you doing, man? You good? I'm good, man. Just here. <laughs> Hi, yeah, Nia. Do you remember him? <laughs> Must be <laughs> son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 how are you? You're good. You good? Thank you. Come and sit. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> just wait for the news actually, make yourself comfortable. Oh, is it, is it a toilet? Is it a toilet? Yeah, it's just straight as you go out the door straight, you'll see straight, yeah? Okay. I got a feel that's gonna drop. No no no. You see? Because it's on that. No, it needs to be because if it's straight. Oh, wow. Podcast is still on, baby, Shaq. 
Welcome, welcome to the Goddess Jazzy Show. Yes, that's right, you're with your host, Goddess Jazzy. Welcome, everybody. Happy Tuesday to everybody. How are we all? Hello, everybody, on Instagram Live. I'm here with my guest, Mia. He's just in the lavatory. So while he's there, let's play a song. I'm going to play this song called... 1980 from the start. 1980, yeah. I don't, if you didn't recognise my voice, it's me again. Yeah. Me, Shaq. And Shaq's here, me, Shaq's here again. Yes. You know? The unofficial, so official co-host. <laughs> So we're just going to play this song. And we'll get back to you right after. Love the beat. <laughs> so it's this. Hi dear, come and sit down. Sit just played a bit of so music because he was in the toilet and everything. Mm. Would you like some of my homemade ginger beer? I made it yesterday. Look, he's drinking it. Yeah. Yeah, we shall pour him some. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can tell me your honest opinion on it, yeah? I, mean, I, live, I, live, kind of, I live central London. Like, like you live central like, London? Yeah, my large. You're joking. Yeah. But, <laughs> They give out all these weather warnings, and I'm looking out the window. I'm like, I can't see nothing. You, you missed Coming it. Coming out here, now, it's bare white. Yeah, I was. I had to scrape the <laughs> and the car. fog. I'm like, rotted. <laughs> I can't see nothing. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I used to live in Croydon. Yeah. Sorry, I used to get the weather out there, man. But so you're living in Marble Arch. Yeah. You know where? You know where I was? No, I thought you was local. Here's the drink. Have a taste and tell me. Thank you. It's so, all right, man. I, I want you to tell me the flavour, what you feel, how it make you feel. Ginger's there and it's not burning. Okay, that's what I said. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's not right. too ginger. Sweetness is just right. Yeah. Mm. It's good. I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's lime and ginger beer. Mm. Brown sugar and alkaline water, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. tell it ya. Mm. Mm. That's a <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> How was your journey up here? You're travelling? It's good, isn't yeah? it? There was, there was a, uh, cancel I thought I'd to be here for 8 o'clock. Mm. But yeah. I always like to be on time. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's good. It's good. From my first that, train. Like, it was like cancelled, so mm. I had to wait half an hour for the next one. So I would have got here a little bit earlier. Oh, okay. Okay. No, it's not too bad. It's 10 no, past. it's good. No, yeah. we've done good. And the news is um, playing. Misha, you don't remember him at Iceland's? You remember me? No, no, no. Yeah, but he's yeah. grown. That's what I put all the yeah. same once, though, isn't it? Yeah, you only saw him once. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably once. Oh, okay, yeah, then. Yeah, it was there. Good to meet you again, though. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. I know, mm. huh? And you know, I don't know, you know, her best friend Jackie. You must know Jackie, no. Jackie, no? She was there. Oh, I, I saw her when they used to hang together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her dad just died last week. Oh, yeah. Dear. And the brother had to do CPR on him, but nothing. Mm. Oh, no. uh, I mean, I'm in close contact with. I still see her children. Oh. My daughter goes and visits them as well. Okay. Like, introduce my first guest who is Nia no, I've forgotten now. Nia Amara where does that name come from Nia welcome Nia welcome welcome uh, greetings greetings everybody greetings. Um, I prefer to put the brother in front of oh Nia brother and... oh sorry let me let no, me rephrase it again when people see my name they think, think I'm female okay I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm rephrase it Nia is, is a unisex name. I'm gonna rephrase mm. it welcome brother Nia Amara <laughs> hi <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> Well, correct. Where does this name come from? Well, Nia is the fifth day of the Nguza Saba, which is the Ooh. seven principles of Kwanzaa. Okay. And Nia just basically means purpose. So it's, nice. not, it's, it's not like a, a female name, it's, it's unisex. It's, it's the meaning that counts, mm. not how the name sounds. Okay. When people from Jamaica say, Where well, your name? I say, Nia. I say, All right then, Naya. I said, No, no, no. I said, No, no, no. It's Nia. Oh, sorry, Naya. I'm like, Forget it, man. Joke. <laughs> Come on, what oh, you want. <laughs> I'm really, really glad and really fortunate that you've come here today because um, part of your bio was being a single father. And I'd, I've never had a single father um, approach on parent note. Speak on it. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of the brothers out there who are doing it are just yeah. 
uh, hiding in the background. I don't know why. Yeah, they don't come out, so no, I don't. They don't want to chat about it. I was, I was enjoying. That. I'm not a big kid myself. Yeah, are you? Gonna, you know Is it I mean? boys and girls you got? Or? I, I had a boy and a girl. Okay. And at one point, hmm. I, I, well, when I was actually married, I, at one point I was taking care of three girls yeah. under the age of six. Mm. Getting them dressed and ready for nursery and school, all of that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Mm. But uh, in terms of single fatherhood, um, I took over when my son was seven months old and my daughter was two years old. Yeah. How did you find it? I enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm a big kid, yeah. so I really enjoyed it. I, was, but, I mean, the, I the stages the of it, the stages of knowing that you you have to be the primary soul care of... For some, for some strange reason, mm. when I was 14 and in school, I said to myself, I wouldn't mind being a single parent. I don't yeah. know why the hell I'm thinking like that. You know what I mean? Maybe because I was brought up by a single mum, yeah. maybe, but I just thought, I wouldn't mind being a single single parent. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I'd just get on with it. So, at 14, why wow. are you thinking like that? Why are you thinking like that? That's different, Madness, isn't it? man. Wow. But it all came in. But yeah, yeah I had to do it because uh, the children weren't treating the, the children weren't being treated right by the woman that gave birth to them. Oh. I had to just take out, so look at them, go and take your things and go about your business and I'll take over. You took over like she that. You could unpack her stuff fast enough. Yeah. Look, but you know, for her to go to uni, because she was okay. she was part time uni, mm. and I was wor working when she was at home study. So we, it was working. It was working. When I was at work, she weren't treating the children right. So I said, wow. "Pack your things, go on campus, stay there, and I'll take care of the children." And you took, and you continued that taking care. Yeah, of when she left, I just changed the locks. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> when you heard it here, oh god. there's a bit more to it than that. But that's another story. So um, so with boy, boy and a girl. What about how old are they? If you don't mind me asking. Now, yeah. Now my daughter's twenty six and my oh, wow. son is uh, twenty three and a half. Okay, so you had to go through the growing pains with them. Everything. Yeah. How did you find it? It was good. Yeah. I, 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 I <laughs> this gave is so work. positive. This thing I gave it all because I'm a chef. Oh, are you? So I, why I, didn't you bring food? Well, this time of morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just finished at one o'clock in the morning, you know. Yeah. And you see, you know, I come from Westminster. Oh, bless you. That's what I'm grateful. I, I get about five o'clock this morning, you know. I'm like. <laughs> Kicking over the cat, like, oh, I can't see where I'm walking. <laughs> oh gosh! So yeah, so you had growing pains with the kids. It was no, yeah? most of it was alright because like the early, I mean the early stages, I was like, were I, you strict? I, tell the truth. I was fair. Oh. They think they think I'm strict because mm. all their friends had no rules. Okay. I'm like get in the yard an hour and a half after school, no later. You can <laughs> hand your friend them, but an hour and a half in my yard. Okay. All the rest can go and do what they want. It's like daddy, everybody else can say da 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 da. No. In my yard, at half past one, I'm coming to look for you. What, did you use corporal punishment on them? I, I use it like that. <laughs> I tried my best not to when they were young. Okay. But when my son started sticking his fingers in plugs, and he was oh, oh dear, you know. Yeah, one of them. And he just wouldn't listen. <laughs> I tried my best. I was what with, with, with um, corporal punishment. Yeah, same. With beating, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had same. To get, I had to get the stinger. What is that? I curtain wire. Oh, no, I've got the belt. I've got the belt. Only a curtain wire. That's the stinger. No, oh, I'm not going to have a stinger. <laughs> <laughs> but I try my best not to. Yeah. And it got to a point when he's like three and a half years old and he's mm. sticking his fingers in plugs. And the worst point was I bought some like, some drawing pencils. Okay. Brand, when they're brand new, they're sharp. Yeah. And okay. he kept on running around with it. And I thought, so if you run around with it, yeah. you're going to fall in it or he's going to hurt you. So I put them on the shelf so he wouldn't get them. And he mm. climbed up and got them. <laughs> So, no, 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 you, you use them when I'm with you, yeah. you know what I mean? So I put them on the high shelf, he climbed up and got that. Next, oh my next minute, you know, you know your child's cry, yeah. but that, when he cries, he's like, ah, uh, I'm like, oh no, that That's don't sound right. Type, yeah. That yeah. don't sound right. So when I ran out there to find out what he's been up to, he mm. fell on the, spen the pencil and it took him in between his eyes. Oh God, until there. now, he's still got that dot. He's got the dot of the Between pain. his eyes. Oh my goodness. And if that went in his eye, that's game mm. over. I'm mm. from, no man, I'm not playing no more. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were warned. And then, and then the second time was, like, he used to, like, run off and likes, likes to be chasing him. I was listening, all right, fair, we're in the park. Yeah. Fair enough, but we're in by the road. You can't be you doing can't that. Do that. <laughs> and he kept on doing it. Yeah. And he got to the point, so like, I'm not going to chase you. I'm not gonna chase you. Uh oh, you're getting near the road. I've got to run, and, and I'd actually had to run after him. Yeah. And when I actually caught him, it was actually in the middle of the road. Oh my god! And luckily, it was only a motorbike that was coming. Jeez, yeah. You had to get a lick for that. Yeah, I swear. just for that sake. But it was, it's like last, a last resort. resort. But because I got custody of the children now, yeah. that woman that gave birth to them went to town on me, saying oh. I'm abusing the children. Oh. I used to bring them to a Saturday school, learning their history and their culture yeah, from early age. Course, she yeah. was telling the courts about I was taking them to a racist Saturday school, teaching them how to hate white people. Ooh. She went to town on me. Oh, so goodness. raising the children's fine, yeah, but her reaction part. was madness. Mm. Mm. Trying to get me arrested and all kind of madness. Mm. Just to, be, to better them up, isn't no, it? No, because I made her pay um, child support. You made her? 
Sorry, sorry, people. I ain't laughing like that because this is this is the this is like early two thousands. You know what I mean? Oh and this, my the, god! It, I think in my case was one of the first cases when it wasn't obligatory yeah. for women to get custody. That's they right. changed the rules before. Yeah. Women, you're getting custody no matter yes. what. Yes. They changed the rules. And my case was one of the first cases where oh. it was actually open to who can have custody. Wow. And the fact that she had no plans or space to have the children in the first place. I said, no, man. And they she had to pay the child support. Imagine yeah. that. And when she went about hey. her business now, yeah. I said to her, just give me £10 a week help with the children. Mm. Uh, and I said, yes, oh, whatever, whatever. Gosh. So she wasn't giving me nothing. You might, so has she got a maternal feeling? Oh, she's had issues when she was young. Oh, whatever. I see. Okay. But okay. the thing is, when we met, she lied because I, I wanted to meet someone that didn't have children and she lied. Mm. She already had a child and she lied to me. Ah, oh, that's another um, person that done that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Story but like things, of course, things got kind of deal off. Oh, I can't bump you. Oh, let's let's see how it goes, kind of thing. Why do you think women do that though? Why can't you just be honest? In the first most place? women, most women, not. She, I mean, mm. she's, she's one of those cases where they, you know they mm. they make life hard for themselves. Yeah, and yeah. everybody else around them. You know what I mean? How was you going to get out of that by lying? Because you you know you're going to find out there's a child there. So I'm not a kind of cold person. Say, listen, you got a, you got a, you. No, man, go and make your business. Mm. I ain't cold like that. Mm. I'm, I, I can't do things. Like that. I remember should have done, but you know. <laughs> Uh, it worked out well enough. The children are uh, surviving through this. Oh, bless! You know I mean? It's good. What was I saying anyway? We were just it's too early in the morning. I know, for me. I know, but we were talking about single parent, which is good. I liked you that you highlighted that. You know, I've got one question. Yeah, go ahead. You see, being a single parent, how does that impact your like relationship? Ah, yeah. Mm. When I okay, I am not the most confident person when it comes to churching. Yeah. I can go to a nightclub, I ain't asking no one for a dance. I don't, I don't like rejection. <laughs> oh, so and you I know where that came from, from when you my daddy, right? So did you, have, did, now? did you have mum and dad growing up? I had mum growing up. Oh, yeah, mum, okay. They broke up when I was young because he's mm. abusive. But like, okay. I saw my dad put about four times a year to get some mm. money out of him and then go out of business, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like, one time, right, I was about seven or eight years old, mm. and he said, look, next week, from him, I mean, we're a mix and match family, but from him, there's um, one sister, one brother. So three oh, of us from him. Yeah. Even though there's like eight of us in the house, but from, from him, there's like three of us. Mm. He says, next week, we're going to the circus. And we didn't go anywhere with him. I mean, I thought, oh, wow. For the whole week, we're going, we're going to the circus. <laughs> we're going to the circus. school. We're going to the circus. <laughs> oh, the whole week, we're doing that. Come, come to Saturday now, we put on our Sunday best, because yes. you can only wear that on a yeah, Sunday. Yeah, exactly. you, go yeah. you, wear that, you don't even see it any other time. <laughs> Put on our Sunday best, so it goes, oh, okay, let's go. Walk for the front door, walk for the front garden, out the gate. Oh. It turns around to me and goes, what do you think you're going? Oh. Like, well, we're all going to the circus. Because <laughs> no, I've only got two tickets, it's just them two. And he just walked off what? and left me. Did oh. I cry? Oh, oh, did I cry? I would cry for a week. Yeah, I didn't chat to him for two years, you know. So he took the other children and left you? He didn't even tell me. Just say to me, mm. you ain't coming. Don't let me walk through the blinking garden yeah. and the gate and, and that then all dressed up. Just say you ain't coming. Oh, that's harsh, then, isn't I think it? Then, then I just can't. I just did not put myself in a position to get rejected. Oh, so, so from, from then, that's where from you that point off. No, because I was all confident and chatting or whatever. Mm. But then, I throughout my whole school life, I didn't have a single girlfriend. No, I was always one of the popular guys. Mm. And all the girls liked me. Like, yeah, I just didn't ask. So how did you navigate through? How did you navigate through all of that? Just, just go through, isn't it? Just, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I mean, I was always popular and always laughing and joking. I was yeah. a class clown, you know what I mean? But in terms of like, it was always like, no, mm. there's always a girl that liked me, that made yeah, it obvious. So it made it and we're easier. laughing and joking and chasing each other. Next minute, we're, they're out with the next guy. I'm like, hang about, I thought you liked me. Because I did, but you never asked me. You never me. asked, you see. <clears throat> Why would you change it now? No. Still not. I, you know, I, 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 I can't take the rejection. I hate yeah, it, Yeah, but I mean, that's part of life. It is. It's part of life. Some guys that can roll off their back. But me, <laughs> no, man. I one time I was, I was, you know, I wanted to go clubbing, man. Oh, this is a bad story. <laughs> is it? I'm out clubbing with my friends now. Yeah. I'm with a, doing that thing in the middle of the dance floor. And this girl's obviously staring at me. Mm. I'm, I'm looking, I'm thinking, maybe you're looking at somebody else. So I stepped to the side, maybe she's looking oh, at yeah, one of my mates. Oh yeah, as we do, like she's, that. <laughs> she's kind of coming up to me and the guy's going, go on mate, go on, go on, she's, she's like, I'm like, nah, maybe it's somebody else. So she starts backing into me. Yeah. Starts whining into me, I'm like, oh, maybe it's a mistake, let me come out your way. Still. So I'm still, oh. Oh. so I'm moving back, moving back, moving back, and to the point where I'm up against the wall. wall. So she's like whining into me, went to her, I thought, okay, the guy's going, come on, what's wrong with you, I'm like, okay, okay, maybe she likes me. After all that, it took okay. her to take so, you to the wall before you knew. But here's the joke though, right? I thought, okay, 
Maybe she wants to dance. So I put my arms around her, I think I'm going to start dancing. She turns around and goes, she turns around and goes, what do you think you're doing? I'm like, I thought you wanted to dance. She goes, no, no. So what is that about? So I went home. Yeah. I went dance. home. I thought, no, nah, I'm not having this. I went home. So we got your dad to blame for this. Yes. Basically, we got it. Wherever you are, Dad, you got to blame for this, honestly. In a way, it's kept me out of trouble, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kept me out of good trouble. So, as I answer your question, Misha, what is it you wanted to know if... Did you develop trust issues? Yeah. Like having certain kind of women around your children? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm only dealing with conscious women. Mm. Ah. Only natural hair, no weaves or wigs, no that stuff. You know. No excess <laughs> makeup. <laughs> yes, and don't We can be friends, but you ain't going to be with my partner. <laughs> Only conscious wow. of that. No wigs up. I can't do it. Yeah. Like, I, I, I do. I've, I've used um dating. Actually, when I met mm. the mother of my two children, it was through the voice dating pages. I remember them. The I voice. Think, yeah. Quite hidden ish. And we were, it? The, we were the first couple to get married. Did you? And they came around and took a photograph with a bottle, bottle of champagne. No, they gave oh. some champagne. Okay, it's better. But we're the first couple to actually get married. Yeah. Through, through that thing. Wait, you scared doing the dating app thing? Dating. No, I'd, I'd rather do the dating app than go to a club and try and chat. What even now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can do, you can just chat to somebody before you get to know them, and you get yeah, a red flag. Yeah, but that could be a mass murderer or something. I'm, I'm a bit. Thingy. Yeah, no, but you, you get you, if you ask certain questions, you can find out if they're, yeah. if, they're if they've got some issues. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? But yeah. Well, so that's that then, isn't it? But in terms <laughs> with the children, though. Yes. When I used the dating app, so I wasn't going anywhere. I yeah. gave it work. When's your birthday? I need to start, start, start I'm Aquarius. Like, we do everything and anything for everybody. everybody. And we put ourselves last. Yeah. Every yeah. time. Yeah, definitely. And some people try and take my my kindness for weakness, weakness. but they soon mm. find out. Yeah. It's like, true. I can enough. drop people like a fly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take liberties and I'm going about my business. But when, turn, when it comes to dating, so I wasn't mm. going anywhere. Mm. So I used to be on Black Net. Chatting on yeah, there. I remember that. Yeah, but well, I was in the chat rooms in there chatting away. <laughs> so I, you were well confident there? No, I wasn't. Are oh, you still? I just stumbled in it and I, I didn't know how to type. Yeah. So they did give me this ASL. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> Age, sex, and location. <laughs> and I said, like, oh, like, come on, man. That's what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. chicka, chicka. She cook when I'm typing. You're not the one like, you answer my question? I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> but when you get angry, you start typing fast. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I learned to type and stuff like that. And I, I met some good friends with them. I'm still friends. This is like 2000 now. Yeah. I met some good friends with them. We used to like, crack. What's enough joke till yeah. 5 a.m. in the morning? And I got to get them, take them to nursing and stuff. But uh, I swear, I met some good friends like that. Yeah. And I got to a point there and said, look, yeah. You need to go out, you need to go and meet somebody. Mm. So we'll you know, bring the children to us and we'll babysit for you. And that was, That's nice, yeah. Yeah, man, like Hammersmith and Croydon and, and all over. Let's look, bring the children in, we can go out for the night. But I go out and I still wouldn't ask anybody for a dance. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I go out and I'm like, okay, I've had enough, I'm going home now. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that when, when, yeah. when it came to the sort of dating apps, uh, mm. web pals, they had web pals then on, on Blacknet. So I just put it straight. Single parent at home with children, not mm. going out much, look, looking for a, a companion. Yeah. So if they come round and then we start chatting after a while, mm. and then eventually they come around and see me, and I'll, I think, well, you're not really my type. I'll, okay. That's the hard part for me is like let them down. And say, well, so I'm how would you let me. them down? I just wouldn't go take it any further. We're, we're just carrying <laughs> talking. Like, like I said, some of them we're pals have been good, are still good yes, mates that's now. Friends, yeah. Mm. So I won't say, no, man, you're not good enough. Go about your business. Nah. No. I said, look, we'll, we'll continue as friends. Okay. But the ones who just really, really want what they want and don't, don't get it, they say, oh, you're using children to attract women. Oh. I said, oh, that's what I'm just telling you my situation the if I'm a lawyer mad. with yeah. a big flash car they're going to say I'm a big a lawyer with a big, mm. big, big, big flash they're car they're not going to use it again and I mean you're, yeah you're going to say oh you're using your lawyer and your mm. car to attract women well they oh, do wow. but, yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah. I'm just telling yeah. you the situation yeah. I'm a single parent I ain't whining and dining and going on multiple holidays you know what I mean mm. it's me and the children if the wow. children don't like you you're gone that's what's right yeah that's and, it's, and right. the yeah. situation I've had was I've had partners that I've gotten well with mm. Didn't get on, or didn't bother with the children. It's just like they just wanted me, not the children. I thought, nah, man, it's not happening. Mm -hmm. Whereas sometimes they, it's been a partner that the children have liked, but it's not being right for me. Okay. Hair, hair, son. Single but it has hair, to no. be both for me. <laughs> not, and I think yeah. I'm an Aquarian. I love my own space and my own time, so I don't have to be with anybody. Mm. So there's, there's certain people that have to take anybody just to be with mm. somebody. Yeah. I ain't like that. I went four years without nothing. Mm. Mm. No, man. But that was before I had the children. I was just like working my ass off trying to buy a house for my mum. Oh, but bless I ain't you. got time. You know what I mean? I'd rather be. I like my own space. Yeah. And as a Aquarian, I appreciate and I love my own space. So what? What made you want to go for conscious women? And how did you start? You said to yourself, this is the type I want now. 
my consciousness kicked in. Like I'm a kind of person I've always asked questions that nobody wants to ask. Mm. That's what has got me in trouble in school. But <clears throat> I'm like, how does X plus Y equals Z get me a job? And they will say like, just do it. Don't ask silly questions like yeah. that. But everybody's asking like, what's this for? What am I gonna get this? Like, I'll ask the question that nobody likes. Yeah. So as <laughs> I got older, I started seeing certain things that was going on. And when was this? It's like in in the early nineties. Mm -hmm. What kicked it in was the Black Panther movie. I watched oh, okay. it at the first one. Watched it at Brixton Ritzy. Ritzy, yeah. And, I, mm -hmm. and this is when they started saying how the um, CIA put the drugs into the community and mm. mashed up the community. And I, I thought, no, man, that's wrong. So um, the Black Panther Party, Huey Rose was there. Uh, the oh, British Black Panther Party. And he said, look, anybody who's, who's, got, who's angry about this film, let's come to a meeting after the, after the film. Mm. So I thought, yeah, man, I'm coming, man. I'm going to do something about this. So this is the UK Black Panther um, branch, or yeah. the new Black Panther with Huey Rose. So I was in the meeting now, and all the audience is black people. But on the mm. stage, there's one black person and Asian people. Mm. So I thought, okay, okay, well, well, we'll, we'll all come under black, I suppose. Let's do this thing. But then in the meeting came four brothers, all dressed in black. Oh, and they said, listen, in this audience, it's bare black people, and yet you've got Asians on the, on the stage. Where are the Asians in the audience? So we're mm. fighting their fight, but they're not fighting oh, our gosh, fight. Yeah. So why are we doing their thing, and they're doing nothing for us? They're taking our money in their shops, and they don't put nothing back into our community. Mm. I thought, yo, what? you brothers got a point. So they gave me this leaflet for um, PACM, the Pan-African Congress Movement. Mm. And this was in the 90s? This was in the okay. 90s. And... The, pro the problem was, when I, I had it, I had to leave it and I kept it there for about two years and didn't really look at it. Mm. And then I, 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 for, for the, the, um, for the voice, I met the, the, the mother of my first two children. Yes. When I met her, she, when I saw her, it was like a blind date because she just chat for her. When I saw her, she was like light skin, ponytail and a dim dimple. Mm. I thought, okay, a bit too much makeup, but let's chat. <laughs> I don't expect these kind of things to happen to me, but she stayed the night, the night we met and she didn't leave for six weeks. Oh. Didn't go home for six weeks. Wow. The first night I'm thinking, okay, don't steal nothing. <laughs> I think I'll come back and she's gone. I'll come back and she's still there. Still there. Six weeks, she's just oh. there, man. So, so I was there and, I've, and eventually I picked up the leaflet. Oh yeah, the thing there, yeah, when I met her, she had a ponytail, light skin, and the, when, I, when she woke up in the morning now, mm. dark skin, afro. <laughs> I'm like, hang on, who are you? She had the most, what? the most 